Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from everyone their fasting, their prayers, the reading Quran, every good deed they did for the sake of Allah and may He reward us all abundantly and may He subhana makes it pure for His sake only. We are continuing with our series about actions and deeds that we need to learn and practice and have it as our own character and it will give me back the love of Allah. This concept, Allah put it in the Quran under different ways and what we covered is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used it in the Quran in the form of Allah loves this action and that action we covered, the good doers, those who repent to him, those who are generous, all that. Now today, we covered actually all these ayat that covered the word in Allah yuhib, verily Allah loves. From today, we're going to look in the Quran into the opposite. He said it in a different way. In Allah la yuhib, Allah does not love. That means that action or that uh, uh, conduct, Allah doesn't love, mean he loves the opposite. So for example, in general, when we say, I don't like lying, that will entail that I love truthfulness. So here today, we're going to cover the concept of al-i'tida, transgression. And Allah clearly said it in the Quran, in three uh, chapters, he said it in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow, in Al-A'raf, the height, and in At-Tawbah, the uh, repentance, where he clearly said in two ways, Inna Allah la yuhibbu al Allah, indeed Allah does not love transgressors, or in Al-A'raf, the height, he said, Innahu la yuhibbu al He does not love transgressors. So what is transgression? Transgression is basically an act, a deed, or a process or a plan that I do that will bring harm to someone else or to myself. And it's in general a sin, it's an offense, and it is outside the norm against the rule of, uh, rule of conduct, against the law. It, this is all called transgression. We're going to come to it in the Quran in three ways. Or in general, in the human being can do transgression toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, toward himself or herself, and toward other people. Toward other people. And let's take Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty. How can we do transgression against Allah? SubhanAllah, he said it in Surah Al-A'raf the height, and it's verse 55. He said, Ud'u rabbakum tadarru'an wa khufya, innahu la yuhibbu al-mu'tadeen. Ud'u, supplicate, call to Allah, rabbakum, your Lord, tadarru'an with humility wa khufya, and in secrecy, call to him, call your Lord with humility and in secrecy, and then, innahu la yuhibbu al-mu'tadeen. He does not love the transgressors. So what do we understand? SubhanAllah. When I don't ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am a transgressor. SubhanAllah. I need something from him. And if I didn't ask him, he will regard me as I transgressed because I did not give him his due right. Who will give me except him? SubhanAllah. Same thing in the salah. When, people, when scholars will teach us that when we do not perform salah at all, or we, we do it not the best way, miss, hit and miss, then we are transgressors because salah is the act of, word, of supplication. So the first thing is I need to not transgress against myself in my relationship with Allah. Not only give him his due right, but actually do what I need, and he asked me to do it. So dua, and this is the month of dua, Ramadan. Second one is actually transgression against me, myself. Interesting. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it in Surah Al-Ma'idah. And he said, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُلُوا مِنْ 
طيبات ما رزقناكم ولا تعتدوا إنه لا يحب المعتدين Oh you who attain faith, believers, you and me كلوا, eat من طيبات ما رزقناكم From the lawful And طيب is not only lawful Lawful and good That we gave you Eat ولا تعتدوا Don't transgress He does not love transgression Or the transgressors So how do I Or how do I become transgressor in food? Number one, he said, Kulu, eat. Tayyibat, lawful, halal, good, healthy, that include food, drink, things that I need, my body. So when I decide to eat unhealthy, not lawful, then I transgressed, subhanAllah, against me. When I make halal food, the other way around, when I make things that Allah made it halal, I make it haram, I make it forbidden. He made it lawful. I decide this is not good for me. I am not going to do it. Then I have transgressed against myself because the creator of everything, including me and the food, he knows that this food is good for me. It's halal. It's, it's lawful. It's tayyib. It's good. Do it. Why don't you do it? Then you are transgressor. <coughs> Subhanallah. <coughs> Excuse me. Third one is, of course, transgression against people. And this one came in many ways in the Quran. Not necessarily in la yuhib, Allah doesn't love, but he regarded those who pass the limit, do injustice <coughs> to people as transgressors. It came with divorce. It came in fighting. <clears throat> it came in marriage. These are all transgressions. The verse, Allah said it in Surah Al-Baqarah. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Pay attention to this, subhanAllah. Fight for the sake of Allah. So imagine you are in battlefield. Battlefield. Everyone is killing everyone. Right? And uh, fighting whom? Fighting the kuffar, the disbelievers, those who doesn't believe in Allah, who already transgressed against Allah. But still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the believers, لا تعتدوا. Don't transgress. Meaning there is even code of conduct in, a code of conduct in war. Don't transgress. In my daily life, and this is what we all need to know, and learn and practice how I will become and learn to become not transgressors, a, a, a transgressor. I need to learn the, the right of human beings, the right of everything. Not only look at what I want and what I need, and it is my right, but what is the right of the person in front of me? And then that right, I cannot pass it and bypass it. And then I say, it's okay, I didn't do much. It's, it's not a big deal, no. As I have right, the other have right. As we have rights, the others have rights, Muslims and non-Muslims. And once I do not pass that right, then I am not. So not only take over the right of someone, but even that right, I give more. I want more. I want more, which is not my right, then I am transgressor. لا تعتدو. For example, and again, whole these series is about how I practice it daily in my life. So in iftar, in iftar, as I am breaking my fast, it's an act of worship. I need to rem remember not to be a transgressor against me, meaning I follow the sunnah in how to break my fast because Rasul, the best of the creation, taught me. And he was taught by Allah. And Allah wants good for me. So when he said, break your fast with a date. And if, I, if you don't have date with water, that means this is good. I need to follow it. If I didn't do it unless I don't have, then I transgressed against myself. When I eat very unhealthy, quickly, daily, then I transgressed. When I cannot share the food with everyone else, I want everything for myself. I am a transgressor. When I don't pray my maghrib because I was too tired when I ate, I transgressed, subhanAllah. And even when someone, someone attacked me or somebody who violated my right, 
When I respond, I need to respond in the same way maximum. If I respond worse, I am a transgressor. If someone says, I don't like you, for example, and you say, I don't like you and I will never talk to you, then I became a transgressor. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make th these things easy for us, not only to understand, but also to practice. Jazakumullahu khayran.